Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer here with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at how we can create our own custom default scene here in Visualize. The idea here is it's nothing different than creating a real scene when you're taking actual photos in a room. You have your chairs, your your drapes in the background, your green screen, or some lighting, physical lighting setup. And we do that same thing here in, in Visualize. And then we're going to go ahead and save that as the default so that every time you create a Visualize project, all your lights, all your backdrops, all your scenes are already set up for you. Great, so let's get started. So here we have this uh, sample file, the Camaro. And there's a lot of great things built into it. So there's our Camaro. And under Appearances, you can see all the default ones that are that are used here. Of course, you can add more. So these are present in this category because we've used them on the car, right? As opposed to going to libraries and then selecting, you know, metallic and grabbing metallic paint. As soon as I bring this purple metallic over, then we can see that it's updated here. And we can also see that there is my purples listed here in this menu. So this is good to know because you might want to preload this palette with some of your frequently used appearances and textures. You can just do that by either bringing in a, a model or by creating a cube and painting it. The next thing is the scenes. So here we have the classic photo studio, some high contrast stuff. We also have a backplate here that I'm probably going to get rid of. And we're going to add a new one. We're going to go to our studios. And I like this guy here, and I also like this one here. Great, so now I got those two scenes, or those two backdrops in there. I could reuse those on the fly later. Let's go ahead and add some more scenes here, too. One of the ones that's in here that I really like to use is Loki and Dazzler. Both those have really good lighting transitions. So now that we look at our scenes, we can see that Loki and Dazzler are now built in. Some of the ones I might not use so often might be like this Route 66 or the Desert Sun. I'm just kind of leave all of those here. Now the last thing is cameras. So I have this default camera set up. I have a camera with a different perspective set up here. I also have a camera with a filter on it. And these all look great. Now, if I wanted to add a couple more, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and grab this one. Let's use Control-C to copy and then Control-V to paste. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate this camera and set this up as the front view. Awesome. I'm going to copy that one. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to activate that. And then I do the right view now. Awesome. If I can go ahead and rename these. And we're trekking along this path of creating this template. Now, if you have professional, one of the things you might also want to do is add a light. So we can add a couple lights in here if we like. Maybe change this to like a tube light. And then our lights are, are saved in there as well. So now the only thing left to do is to delete the model. So you can just select it and strike the delete key. Now the model's gone. And the idea here is that you want to save this as a template now. Make it your default so that every time you load up a new file, that all this stuff is preloaded. All your preloaded textures and colors, all your preloaded scenes, backdrops and lights, and your cameras are already done. Now here's a quick tip with the cameras. So the thumbnails for these cameras show up with the uh, Camaro model. But what you can do is if you just if you select one, like I'm going to select this guy here, and then go lock and then unlock, it'll redo the preview. So before you save it, I just recommend that.
so that they're all kind of fresh. And you can go ahead and name these as well if you'd like to, to name them. But now the only thing left to do is to save this as a template. So I'm just going to do a file save as. I'm going to save this as Adam's custom template. I'm going to save it to my projects. And I'm going to go to my tools after it's done saving. And under options, we can make this the default all the time. So I can say, hey, use this current project all the time. It's our default. So every time I load up another SolidWorks file or I import some geometry, this is the default scene that gets imported with all my cameras set up, with my scene set up, appearances, and then our models will show up here. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. And if you'd like to learn some more, go ahead and check out our YouTube video and subscribe. Thanks again.